Hey everyone, this is Kai Sif and welcome back and today we're going to be looking at automatic water clearers. Here we've got a gravel wall separating the area we want to clear out and these five wide trenches on either end for the flying machines to sit. So here we've got one flying machine to send the main flying machine for the clearing back and we've got this thing which pushes it down. So in a dilly dallying, let's actually see this thing in action. So yeah, if you place a block here, goes all the way to the end where this biggie thing pushes everything down as you can see it pushes the orange section or the honey section first followed by the slime section before it goes across reaches the other end where we've got a return mechanism which updates one of the pistons and then pushes itself downwards before the flying machine heads off back so yeah let's get down to how we can actually construct this so the important thing is you want to cover up the entire area and you want to construct the trenches and you also want to be clearing out from end to end. So start off, place a non-sticky block and six honey blocks. This is important. Uh, it can be slime or honey but uh, make sure it's six. On the other end you can go however long you want as long as it is within the build limit. Construct the remainder of the flying machine and then check your F3 values on your final observer that you've placed up and maintain the same Y and Z value before placing another observer here and uh, continuing the build like so. So the reason you want to clear out the, uh, sorry, you want to build a gravel wall is because if you've got diagonally flowing water, the water tends to refill back and that's basically what we don't want so now we break the observer so that we can place the piece of terracotta and then we continue to build the cushy downy part so the first part is just the updation but then we've got this sticky piston block which goes four up and then three across and here we are just constructing a few extra segments to create some delay because when the honey section gets pushed down it uh, tries to extend and that's what we don't want. So the individual sections actually push separately. And once you've actually built, uh, sorry, you've taken down the gravel walls, you can send this off and it uh, works perfectly fine on either end. So yeah, you can just build this uh, for yourself to try and uh, figure out what are the other cool things that actually happen with this one. But anyway guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time and I will leave you with this very satisfying time lapse of the water clearers working. You do require some water clearance at the bottom, but yeah, that's basically it. So, anyways, guys, I'll see you later. Have now, bye bye.